Hey everyone. Today me and dad are out here in the woods at this old house. Last time we went here is back in December 2011 and this time I have the small coil on my AT Pro. Here's the first signal I dug down about six inches. And it's a horseshoe for the first find of the day so that should bring good luck hopefully I'll pull out some old relics around this house. Tons of iron, but maybe I could find some buttons or two. So, let me show y'all how, how I'm setting this thing up. I have two pieces of tape across here, if you haven't noticed, just to keep the scratches off. I'm using iron discrimination at 22, Pro Zero, and sensitivity up all the way. Pretty good for this area since there's not many non ferrous signals. No power lines or anything to get in our way. We're way out in the middle right, of the woods. I just dug this piece here. It goes off the top of the lantern. And I got a decent signal here. AT Pro. Showing up around a 72 possible flat button. Yeah. See what it is. It's only about two or three inches deep. Could be a shotgun shell. Alright, on to the next hole. <laughs> hey everyone, since last time I dug another horseshoe and a few brass items, part to a musket ball, I got a good signal here. Going up around a 76. It's probably going to be a piece of junk because we're on camera, but never know. It's in a sunken spot. How deep was it? About two inches. <laughs> oh, it's still in there. Probably iron. God! That's part of a hill plate. Man, the same kind they used in the Civil War. Sorry. Zoom didn't stop. <laughs> a Civil War era hill plate, and uh, it's been cut with a knife. I'm not sure why they had cut them, but man, there might be another one in there. That was a real loud signal. Unbelievable. That's a great find. We'll see y'all at the next hole. Well, Dad kind of messed up that last clip when I was digging the hill plate. He said the camera was messing up, but, which I think it is. I just dug this, though. This old bullet. Hasn't been fired yet. And here's a closer view of the hill plate. Octagonal shape at one time. It's a great find. That's my third one like this. Yeah, that's sweet. Now I have hunted this site once with the F-75 and I found a toe tap, the top two an umbrella, some rimfire casings, lantern parts, and a uh, little musket ball. And I just found this toe tap here with the AT Pro. Lots of nails in that hole too. About three nails already in there probably. But showed up as a 62. And you can see it had there's the holes in there. And the hill plate was just dug about 20 feet over there. So this is a good area. Check around some more. I'm hoping for the reef to my CS tongue. Maybe it's out here somewhere. Showing up as a 53. Probably a nickel. Shotgun shell. It's in there. Ah, just another shotgun shell.
cover that hole. You don't want to trip the Easter Bunny. All right, I told Dad to record this one while I was digging it, but he wouldn't. And it's a button. I don't. It looks like it has an eagle on it. Might be World War One or something. Shank looks pretty old. Oh man, that's that's got to be older than World War One. It's an old shank. Oh my God! It's a War of 1812 button. It has an eagle on there and some other stuff. Looks like a War of 1812 button. Unreal. Found with the Garrett AT Pro, the small coil. Let's clean this thing up and get a good shot of it. All right. Dad's walking circles around me trying to find something good. Oh, good. And I'm uh, just washed off this button. Yep, it's a War of 1812 button for sure. You can see there's an eagle on there and sitting on a cannon. That's like my fifth War of 1812 button I've ever found. These things are unbelievable. Look at that old shank on the back. It has writing and everything. It was right here. Showed up as a 78 signal on the AT Pro, about three inches deep. Got to be some more. There's a road right there. Used to be old road. And the house foundation was just over there. So I'm going to keep on working this area. Maybe I'll find another. I have a really good signal here. Showing up as a 76. The other button, 1812 button I dug, showed up as a 78, so. This is probably gonna be something great. Showing up lower now, 69. Things going crazy. It's a thing off the top of an umbrella. Old umbrellas, 1860s. So that's pretty good find. I found them before. See y'all at the next time. I just dug this. It's the front to an old padlock. Look at that thing. You don't find many of these. There's the lock cover, and there's the lock plate, the skeleton keyhole. That's pretty cool. Probably has some writing on it, and I can get an age or a time period of when this lock was made. Now, this is cool. Looks to be something they'd wear on their neck. They had a the little hole there for it. Gold plated over brass, or silver plated over brass. It's a pretty cool find. Showed up as a 53 signal. Same signal as a shotgun shell. So, has to be more out here. Just dug a hole down about six inches and found this. Have no idea what it is. It's old, it's brass or copper, and it has like a hook right there for something. Maybe. Went on something there like a hinge, I don't know. Never seen nothing like it. I just dug this here. It uh, looks like a flat button, but there's no place for a shank. And it's showing up as like a 74 on the AT Pro, so it's got to be an Indian head. It's very corroded if it is. Colonial coin. Well, maybe. Alright, I cleaned up this coin I just found, and it turns out it's an 1882. Or 80, no, 1883. Indian head penny. Showed up as a 74 on AT Pro. And I dug it right there. I've been back at the house for about four hours now. I just came out here and detected my neighbor's front yard. And I uh, got a real good signal. But from one angle, right here, it was showing up as a 94. And then when you swung right here, you'd get nail. When you swung right there, you'd get iron. Swung there, get iron. And there was no iron up there. And when I changed the angles, it was iron every time I swung over it. But I dug the hole, and you can see where it was at. And here it is. It's some type of token. And it says, Home Comfort Ranges 
1864-1939 and on this side has something on there we'll have to clean that up later but I just can't believe I missed this it's so big and it was only three inches deep just like that and it gave a horrible signal so anyway that's a great find in today